Hey guys, it's me, Sam I'm back here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> today with David. Uh, today we're going to do how to survive a boat crash. And we have some demonstration some facts for you guys. So first fact is, you should always wear a life jacket while boating just in case you crash, fall out of your boat, get knocked out and fall out. It will put you back afloat, up afloat. And if you won't drown, just to show you what it would be like, I'm going to grab this. And we're, we have water right here. And we have a, so this is going to be the le, the lemon or the person acting with the life jacket or without. So a person without a life jacket would fall. They won't but float. They won't float, yeah. And a person with the life jacket will float right up to the top. So, this is just a demonstration of life jacket or that. Would you rather be that one sinking, that almost hit, probably gonna die, or this one floating up here? I would wanna be this one. And then, so we have some facts for you guys. Um, some things you should know before going boating out on big lakes or anything. You should uh, obviously know how to swim, just in case. Uh, CPR. Just in case you pull somebody out of the water and they're not breathing, you can do CPR on them. Or emergency training, like swimming CPR and like what to do, how to like, survive for a few hours on the water. Bring a flare gun too. You don't have to, but like if you're in the ocean, uh, just in case you get stuck in the ocean. Um, we got some of our information. Or go ahead. Well, you should bring a flare gun. Yeah. Some things, uh, like, always have a, if you're, if you crash, your boat, if they're still up on a boat, you should have a radio in that boat to signal for help, like the National Guard, and maybe, like, and if you don't, and if it sinks, it's good to have a flare gun, or it's good to have both, like, it doesn't matter if you know you're not, you should, you never know what's gonna happen. We got some of our information from New Mexico Boating Safety, uh, official online, state course and boating safety courses um let's see when you're boating with your friends on a lake if you crash and let's say you have a life check but your friend doesn't your friend it's not gonna be safe to like if they're panicking try to calm them down or give them like a piece of rugged that's floating because if you go towards them they have a chance of like overreacting and trying to drag you under underwater which is not good for both of you, but maybe they can try to float with something, maybe a spare life jacket or anything. Always signal for help if anything bad ever happens. And that's going to be it, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one.